My name is Liz Skinner, and I never owned a crop top until my 30s. As a preteen, I remember cursing the style of low-rise jeans and short-waisted shirts that were the turn-of-the-century trend. I don't know if my mom ever actually said, showing your midriff is a sin, but I remember having to raise my arms above my head in front of her to make sure a shirt still fit before going to church on Sundays or Wednesdays. I knew my long torso was never to see exposure. A pale, soft gut full of shame that somehow made God mad. Jesus Loves My Crop Top by Mary Lambert These women need to stop glorifying unhealthy obesity. Some dickhead. 1. I like my belly button. 2. My belly button does not interrupt your life. 3. Why do you hate so much my belly button? 4. Is it maybe because someone was mean to your belly button? 5. I am sorry someone was mean to your perfect belly. 6. You cannot love what you hope your body turns into without loving it for what it is, right now. 7. When I was in high school, I obsessively fantasized about taking a knife to my stomach like a bagel slicer. 8. One night, I found a website that just had photos of girls with stomach rolls and back rolls, and they were smiling, and I cried because I was uncomfortable and envious of their joy. 9. I used to drink a fifth of tequila and smoke a pack of cigarettes every night. 10. No one criticized my health then. 11. My body is what it is what it is. 12. The mirror is what it is, what it is. 13. Celebrating your body is a revolutionary act. 14. I feel my own self breathe. I feel my organs when I breathe, and when I shower, I feel my skin on my skin. I know that it is mine. I listen to what my body asks for. I put on a shirt that shows my stomach. I wing my eyeliner up, and I ride my bike into the sunset, and I will pick flowers with my love, and later I will eat Brussels sprouts and maybe a martini with lots of olives in it, and I will do all this because it makes me feel good, and because I am worthy of love and cute clothes and happiness. 15. Feeling worthy has taken a very long time. 16. I am my own holy revolution. Welcome to the church of my thunder thighs. I am awake and alive. I've come to wear all the crop tops that the glittering world has to offer. I've come to dance the shame out of my childhood. I have come to win back my joy. You may not snatch it from me like a purse. 17. I win whether I have a mouthful of pretzels or a mouthful of kale. You have not been granted the privilege to know how I consume my world and what makes me most delight in my skin. I will glorify the shit out of my body. I was exploring audible books to read next when I was captivated by Mary Lambert's title, Shame is an Ocean I Swim Across. It's her collection of poems. After listening to her reading, Evelyn is made up, I said, fuck, and added to cart. In Jesus Loves My Crop Top, it is clear that the poet is a seasoned swimmer across the ocean of shame within her feminine body. Her poem continues that swim through this declarative second-person conversation to some dickhead, who's made a comment basically saying that women who are a larger shape or heavier weight should not show their bodies, not celebrate their skin, because it represents unhealthiness. 
Lambert's response in this numbered poem is one of strength, confidence, and defiance that gives voice to many men and women. The numbers make the poem into a list. It lists the reasons that Jesus likes her crop top. The counting also gives the poem structure and an assertive voice to the speaker. This moves the cadence of the poem into a rhythm that builds as this manifesto unfolds. I love how Lambert, she doesn't attack the dickhead she's writing to, really. Uh, she shows compassion and says she's sorry that someone was mean to their belly. Her voice is childlike and curious with a varied sentence structure when she writes the line, Why do you hate so much my belly button? Which I just love. She's vulnerable by sharing specific instances when she did not like her belly. I love the image in line seven, a teen fantasizing about cutting their stomach like one would cut the top of a bagel. It's so relatable and invokes a perfect image of a bagel that is flesh colored, rounded and dimpled in the middle with its own belly button. I love the repetition of lines 11 and 12. It is what it is what it is. It's a mantra of acceptance. There's a religious tone in many of the word choices in Lambert's poem. I am my own holy revolution. Welcome to the church of my thunder thighs. This declaration fits in with the titled statement. The line before talks about worthiness. In church as a kid, I remember singing songs about how God is worthy of our praises and who is worthy to be in God's presence? The church ladies liked this saying about how your body is the temple of the Lord. Lambert is using this language to build up her own self-worth, which is the opposite of what church often made me feel. By the end of the poem, the voice of the speaker seems more of a goddess speaking to a mere mortal that has overstepped his bounds. When she says, you have not been granted the privilege to know how I consume my world, she is setting herself apart in a glorious way, making sure to say, I don't owe you an explanation. You don't get to know. Yet we as the reader get to know and share in the courage of a woman brave enough to delight in her body in the here and now. Jesus Loves My Crop Top by Mary Lambert These women need to stop glorifying unhealthy obesity. Some dickhead. 1. I like my belly button. 2. My belly button does not interrupt your life. 3. Why do you hate so much my belly button? 4. Is it maybe because someone was mean to your belly button? Five, I'm sorry someone was mean to your perfect belly. Six, you cannot love what you hope your body turns into without loving it for what it is right now. Seven, when I was in high school, I obsessively fantasized about taking a knife to my stomach like a bagel slicer. Eight, one night I found a website that just had photos of girls with stomach rolls and back rolls and they were smiling and I cried because I was uncomfortable and envious of their joy. Nine, I used to drink a fifth of tequila and smoke a pack of cigarettes every night. 10, no one criticized my health then. 11, my body is what it is what it is. 12, the mirror is what it is, what it is. 13. Celebrating your body is a revolutionary act. 14. I feel my own self breathe. 
I feel my organs when I breathe. And when I shower, I feel my skin on my skin. I know that it is mine. I listen to what my body asks for. I put on a shirt that shows my stomach. I wing my eyeliner up and I ride my bike into the sunset, and I will pick wildflowers with my love, and later I will eat Brussels sprouts, and maybe a martini with lots of olives in it. And I will do all of this because it makes me feel good, and because I am worthy of love, and cute clothes, and happiness. 15. Feeling worthy has taken a very long time. 16. I am my own holy revolution. Welcome to the church of my thunder thighs. I am awake and alive. I have come to wear all of the crop tops that this glittering world has to offer. I have come to dance the shame out of my childhood. I have come to win back my joy. You may not snatch it from me like a purse. 17. I win whether I have a mouth full of pretzels or a mouth full of kale. You have not been granted the privilege to know how I consume my world and what makes me most delight in my skin. I will glorify the shit out of my body.